My name is Raul Pizarro. I've uh, been painting for a few years. Uh, there's a series called Willful Suspension, and it's about, well, it's not really just about one thing, but it's more of a question that I've had in my head for a while of, that mostly asks how it's possible for families or people to let go of their natural human senses to uh, make dogmas that they've been taught work uh, such as you know in Christianity or um, there was a news article I read about two boys that were hung I believe they were 14 and 15 they were accused of being homosexual and they were hung in Iran even though it was against the, their own laws to hang uh, someone that young, I believe the age was 18, when they were legally able to sentence someone to death. And just reading the article, and it, it took you through a, a series of journalistic photographs from when the boys were tried to when they're being driven into the square all the way to when they're blindfolded and lynched. And just the look on the crowd's face of happiness and like it was a joyous event and it, it made me wonder how many of these people have children of their own and how they would feel if those were their their kids would they how would they justify this in their own family and it, it just inspired a whole series of paintings i was uh diagnosed with muscular dystrophy when i was three years old and muscular dystrophy is a very, it's a vast disorder. It affects people in a lot of different ways. Shortening your lifespan, sometimes really drastically. Some kids only live up to nine. Others, some of my friends only lived up to 15. And uh, knowing that I had muscular dystrophy always gave me a sense of a timeline. Ever since I was little, I felt like, okay, I only have a certain amount of time here. So I better do everything I want to do now <laughs> while I can do it. And that's affected my work. I guess in, in the size that I work in right now, I'm trying to paint larger format. Well, as large as I can do, I guess, because I know that eventually it's going to uh, start to affect my range, how far I can reach. And it'll, my, my work is definitely going to get a lot smaller over the next few years. So for now, I'm... I'm trying to work on the larger pieces that I have in mind and uh, it hasn't really affected me negatively. I think I just have a sense of urgency when it comes to doing stuff it was, and it's not like it's uh, something specific to me. I think it's a very human thing to know that you're not going to be here very long and I think it's just a little louder in my life because I see it every day uh, but it hasn't really phased me. It doesn't depress me. I just get over it and keep on going and keep on working and I think my work has been my saving grace it distracts me not just from the muscular dystrophy but just other shitty things in life I think can really weigh you down if you focus on them too much so yeah that's <laughs> muscular dystrophy in a nutshell in my life